Welcome back to Tennis World Tour 2. Today we start the new season with the changes we've made in the last episode. And I'll tell you now, they are some big changes. Bigger than I was expecting. If you missed the last episode, we reduced the amount of matches, points, sets in a, in a match by quite a bit. We only went down two levels. So the first season we played on Realistic and everything was done at full length. That's why the videos were quite long. We took it down so they weren't anywhere near as long matches. And also, while we're talking about new things, we introduced skill cards. We haven't used them before. We'll have a brief look at them today. And if you look ahead at the matches we can do for the first week or first fortnight in January, we have a charity match. First time we've seen that, that's a completely new thing. I didn't see that get at all in the first season. But today, we're going to have a look at our first tournament in the new season. We're going to start with the Orca Open. It's a one-star tournament. So in theory, we've got a good chance. In theory. And we're going to start against Alan Flores in the round of 16. And here we are. These are the skill cards. So we've collected these from just playing the game, I believe. Um, but this is the first time I've activated them. I don't really know how to use them. I don't really know what they do. I've got to kind of learn as we go. So we've got all your endurance ones, they all do different things. I want to have some spend some actual time going through them all to really work out what's going to work for us and what's not. I also don't know how we gain more. That's something else I need to look into. But it won't be on this episode. So the precision cards, we've got a few of those. We've got a gold one to the left hand side. Again, I assume they'll help us at certain points. You've just got to activate them at the right time. But it's mainly timing that. And we have some power cards as well. But again, I'm not massively au okay with all this. This was activated at the end of last season for this season. If we don't like it, we'll take it off at the end of this season. But that's not the only change we've got. So we're going to leave the one skill card that's already on. On. We're not going to add any more. Obviously, Alan Flores' cards are locked. And we're just going to go straight into the first tournament of the season. Now, I was expecting us to be okay not entirely sure the changes obviously he's going to have skill cards to use we didn't really put any hours on we are up by 7 points in the tail of the tape so I was feeling confident and here we go, new season first match, first points of the new season, already he's using skill cards that's not a good thing for us straight away, changes we see so, every time we hit the ball, it tells us if we were doing it on time, if we were perfect, very good, too slow, too late, it tells us. As you see skill cards flashing up. That wasn't something I was expecting. It's nice to know if we're hitting the ball correctly, but not what I was expecting at all. Another change, we can actually see the stamina bar below us and him. So, during a match, you will see the stamina bar decrease if you're making him run side to side or he's sprinting. That's not a bad addition. Again, you're taking the realism away. Becoming a little bit more arcadey. I'm not entirely sure if I'm happy with this change. But we needed to shorten the matches. It was taking me an hour to do one match. If you progress in a tournament, that makes it even worse. Now, we've talked through most of this match so far. But we'll look at the scoreboard. And we are 40 love down. And it's match point. That's it. There is only one set in this match. And it is the first one. So if we lose this, it's over. Uh, I think that was called out. Flores has disputed the decision. It is still out. A bit closer than the ones we've decided to dispute, to be fair. But it is out. So he's still got two match points in the bag. He's, let, he's lost one match point. We've still got two left. We need to pull this back. Or already out of the Orca Open. But this is how quick some of the matches are. So one star tournaments I believe will be one set. Uh, one set and one game. Sorry I should really reiterate that. So that was a good return there. Which was a backhand. He actually put it out. We've saved so far two match points. We need to pull this back to Deuce. For us to stay in this tournament. We need to pull this back. He's still seven match point. Vault again. Come on, we can pull this back. You can see stamina bars dropped a little bit. Ours is still quite high, which is good. 
better serve from in there. I would say the ball seems slower. I did feel this while playing. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it feels it. Perfect backhand there by us. That was a bit too late. And we put the ball out. So Flores wins. One love. I oh, know. It seems a bit weird saying it like that. And we are out of the Orca Open already. I'm not sure if one star tournaments are going to be that much fun now. Because they're over so quickly. And we didn't even get to serve. Not that we're very good at serving. But that is it. We got 150 winnings, so we didn't even gain much money from that because you don't have enough time to to get objectives. We get it, did get 10 more ranking points. And we are very close to levelling up as well. So for the second half of January, we're going to look at the new uh, next tournament, which is the Hawaii Island Classic. Now this is a two-star tournament. It does tell us it's three games per set and it's one set. So it's the first to three, I believe. And we are going to start in the round of 32 against Jacob Bader. Now, the one-star tournament were ahead in the tail of the tape. And we still found it difficult. And to be honest, the scoreline flattered us a little bit. 40-30 for him then to go on to win because of our mistake. We didn't deserve to win. But in this one, we're eight points down on the, on the skill point tail of the tape. That doesn't bode well. But we are on grass this time. So we could do a little bit better. Again, he's using loads of skill cards. We didn't put any extra ones in. So I'm going to need to look at a little bit more. Doing some perfect shots though, which is really nice. So there's definitely a lot more to help you. Now, although there's more cues on the screen to help you play, it doesn't mean it will. They're, they're actually quite off-putting, and I think it's because we didn't have them in the first season. I think it might take a little bit of time to get used to them. It is a good indication of how we're doing, though, on our shot choices and accuracy and things like that, but I'm finding quite off-putting. But, saying that, we are ahead. It is love 30 to us. Bade is on serve. And in this first game, I think we're doing well. We need to follow it through though. Was that in or out? I think that was in. 15.30. So I said we was ahead. Silly move by us there. We really should have capitalised more. We need to hold this. We, we know it's the first to three. So we kind of really need to settle in the matches really quickly. Wrong foots is the game though and it's now 30 old. I know the title of the video is new season but same results and you can pretty much tell what's going to happen next we're still struggling I don't know what it is I don't know if it's me it's just the fact we're not using skill cards as effectively as we should be the fact I haven't put any in probably could be an issue Bader is now ahead 40-30 so it's something we need to look at I need to work on the skill cards I need to find out how to utilize them better how to make them effective because we need something. Out. That's out. 40 all deuce. That was lucky for us there. We were completely wrong footed, so slightly inch to the left we would have been we would have lost the point in the first game to be honest. But yeah, the the arcade feel now I'm not sure if I still I enjoy it as much. But I didn't like the matches being as long as they were. So it's a tad of two halves really. I don't know what to do for the next season. I'll probably take skill cards away, unless we can learn how to use them properly and efficiently. But, length of matches needs to stay the same, but we're going to keep all the arcadey bits if we do that. So, we've got no choices to make, but we've got a whole season to play through first. We've not really spoken about the tennis that much. So, in this first game, we, are, we have advantage in the deuce, but we play the ball out, so we're back to deuce. A little bit of a bad shot by us there. We just just kind of pushed it a bit too much. Charged the shot a little bit too much. Should have done better, really. Poor return from us there. Nice backhand, though. Trying to make him move. You can see his stamina bar draining a little bit. Ours isn't really moving, but he plays a lovely shot down the line there. We were just too far away. So advantage to Bader. Got to stop him capitalising. 
got to break service. That's the big thing we need to do very quickly in these games now, I think. He plays the ball out, so it's 40 all the game. He makes some colossal mistakes. We were completely wrong-footed as well. So he definitely saved us there. Right, we need a good return. It was too soon we hit. We hit the ball too early. And again, too early. That's quite good for trying to learn your timing. Although we've already done a full season, we've not been successful. So we could always use this season as a learning season in terms of the little guides he's now giving us. He's making us run. You can see our stamina draining. But we play the ball out. That's such an unfortunate shot. I thought we were running side to side. He was playing fantastically. We had him wrong footed, but just too much power. And unfortunately, he now has advantage. Perfect return from us again, though. We're doing well on the returns. Wrong foots again. We couldn't get near to the ball. First game goes to Bader. We are one love down. Our service this time. This is our first service of the new season. In our second tournament. So it's weird to say that. I don't think we're playing too badly. There's small mistakes. We're putting too much power behind the ball sometimes. Which is obviously a bigger issue. But that's something we're going to work on. He's played up. Can we uh, kind of miss the smash? And in fact, we didn't even get over the net. That was a poor shot from us. Still not massively confident on smashes. I'm not really sure how we activate them effectively. That's something we do need to work on. We need to work on a lot of things, to be honest. Again, Bader gets the point. Dirty love. Just plays the ball down the line and we just can't quite get to it. So service isn't going very well so far. Love dirty. And we're not making him run. Again, he plays it far too far across for us to get to. For, uh, love 40. Break point. He has three break points now. We're not making him run as much as he's making us. And that's out. That's Bader's game. So Bader is winning two love. If he wins this, it's all over. If we win this, we still have a chance of staying in the tournament. That was a nice return by us. And that's a lovely shot to the left-hand side there. Bader had no chance against that. It's love 15. Maybe we have hope. But he plays a lovely shot there. Similar to what we did. Problem was a little bit close this time, but still couldn't get near it. 15 all. And finding returning serve we're pretty good at. That's kind of about it at the minute. Another perfect return. Lovely shot down the right-hand side there. He plays the ball out on return. 15-30, point to us. We're definitely trying to hold our own. But it's not a simple game to play. Even with a more arcadey look. I'm hoping we can still get through the season. I'm kind of not enjoying the arcade style at the minute. Nice backhand bus, but it was a bit late, to be fair. Out. And that's out. Too much power again. It is dirty all. But I think in a couple of months we may get used to the new look. And it'll be okay. There's just now suddenly a lot of information on screen that wasn't there originally. We lose the point again. Bader is now ahead. 40-30. And he's serving for the match. He's got a match point here. We have to bring this back to Deuce. Plays it down. We're nowhere near it. We're not getting back. And Bader wins. Free love to win the first set. And the only set of the match. We're out of the Hawaii Island Classic already. Yes, it didn't last long. But the matches are definitely quicker. Hence the video is being shorter. So it's never a bad thing. As I said, I think all the information on the screen now will take us a little bit of time to get used to. We need to play around with skill cards a little bit. See if we can utilise them more to our advantage. We did get 750 winnings that time. And another 10 ranking points. We've gained 20 ranking points in January. Not fantastic, but better than nothing. But we've also levelled up. We can now put our skill point into something. Now I'm thinking more defensively. I think we need to defend better. So we'll put it into there. And that's it for today. So we'll see you next week for February.